Hello, uh, my name is Lois Anderson and today I'm going to give you a demonstration on a couple of different uh, greens that you can use to make infused oils. The first one I'm going to show you is uh, the top of a fennel bulb. Uh, usually you get a really big piece of this uh, fluffy looking stuff that almost looks like dill. And so what I did was I laid it, washed it, laid it out, let it dry for a couple of days and I've got it all cut up here. So I'm going to stick it in my, my uh, little jar here. And um, the recipe that I found also said to put uh, garlic. So I'm going to crush my garlic with my, um, my uh, um, big knife. And I'll, I'm going to do a couple of garlic here. And I'm going to also put in uh, a little bit of the crushed red pepper and um, some pieces of this lemon and then I'm going to put the rest of the um, uh, fennel, what they, they call them fennel fawns I found out on the computer so I'm going to put this lemon in there and, and those and it's going to make a wonderful infused oil I'm going to be using it in my salads and so I'm anxious to, to try this and See how that tastes. I'm going to stick the rest of the fennel in there. It's in a little half pint jar. And then I'm going to fill it with olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil that I'm using. I'm just going to cover, cover all the greens and everything. Um, lightly, lightly put the lid on it, not real tight. I'm going to put it in my kettle and put the water up, um, not quite to the top of the jar because uh, I don't want the water to go inside the jar. And then I'm going to set it there and bring it to a boil and uh, boil it uh, low on low uh, for about 45 minutes. And then I have another one to show you, which is uh, plantain. These greens I, uh, is a wild edible and I, I cut them a couple of days ago and let them dry. there nice and crunchy now and all I have to do is um, put these in my jar and cover them with oil but they are processed different um, what I learned is that you um, just leave them on the cupboard with the lid on it for uh, five to six days and then both of these once they're done then you will be um, um, straining them through either a cheesecloth or just a regular wooden strainer and uh, then you'll have your oil uh, to use that is infused with these plants and um, I, some of the things that I found out that the uh, plantain oil is good for is soothing pain uh, it's good on rashes scrapes itchy bug bites and stings bug uh, bite stings and so I'm going to put the lid on this and just leave this set uh, for a few days and then strain that off. And um, those are two wonderful homemade oils that you can make that uh, don't cost you much money to make. And um, they're natural and uh, very uh, nutritious. You know, the nutrition is in the greens. And so that's going to get into your skin because anything you put on your skin gets into your body. And so it won't have any chemicals in, like something that you would buy downtown. And so that's why I wanted to show you this, that you can make something from nature that is really good for your body. So I hope you enjoy this little demo today.